Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Go Greek or stay g e d That is the question for today and the question we attempt to answer. Thanks so much for joining us on the College Investor Audio Show. So, whether or not to join a frat is a big decision. It can provide a solid network, but it's also a little bit pricey. So, here's what you need to consider when deciding to go Greek or stay g e d All right, so aside from getting good grades, college is a time to build relationships and establish lifelong friendships for sure. Maintaining a social life can help you find balance between living and learning. Greek life is one of the easiest ways to create a social network in college. Depending on where you go to school, joining Greek life may also be one of the most significant decisions you make as an undergrad, too. You might be wondering if you should go Greek. Before you rush in, these are some of the things you'll want to consider first. First of all, what is Greek life anyway? Greek life is a popular social system on college campuses. It consists of fraternities, sororities, They use all the Greek alphabet letters to distinguish one organization from another. Students who are members of Greek life often wear the Greek letters of the organization they're a part of. You've heard it. Greek life is most well known for its rigorous recruitment process, partying, and hazing. Ugh. But that isn't all Greek life has to offer either. It also consists of academic, professional, and service oriented organizations that provide community for its members. This includes Phi Beta Kappa, the oldest. And most prestigious Greek organization in the United States. Each college campus approaches Greek life a little bit differently, too. Some organizations maintain exclusive houses where members live, others operate more informally. Greek houses host regular meetings as well as social events. The individual chapters on college campuses are part of larger national organizations. Also, governing bodies, too, that manage Greek life across the country. This includes the National. Panhellenic Council and the North American Interfraternity Conference. But regardless of which organization a student is a part of, the goal of Greek life is usually the same. It helps undergrads develop leadership skills, provides social activities, and holds them accountable for academic achievement. So, here are some of the reasons that you should go Greek. Going Greek is one of the easiest ways to have a social life during your college career. On some campuses, it's really the only way. Aside from that, it can help you build some skills that you just won't learn inside of a classroom while also providing a, a support system, too. You can develop your leadership skills. Greek life gives you access to leadership opportunities you just might not find at other social organizations on campus. Most chapters hold elections for roles like president or social chair, and depending on the role, you may liaise with other houses to plan joint events. Governing bodies like the National Panhellenic Council recruit from Greek life organizations and can help you establish yourself as a leader on campus while also building your resume. You can hone your soft skills. This is huge. Soft skills are becoming increasingly important in the workplace. According to a 2019 survey by LinkedIn, 91% of recruiters and HR professionals identified soft skills as a trend transforming the future of work. Soft skills include things like creative problem solving, communication, and being able to work as a team. Your college classes may not provide an opportunity to develop these critical skills either, but Greek life actually can. This is going to pay off big in the future if you pursue a career that values soft skills and social connections. Build lasting relationship is another huge benefit. Greek life is most well known for the social value that it provides. Your brothers or sisters often become lifelong friends, and many Greek organizations maintain robust alumni networks that you can join after you graduate. While getting good grades in college is important, building relationships is just as important, too. Believe it or not, as many as 85% of jobs are filled through networking. Fraternities and sororities don't just provide friends to hang out with on the weekends either, they actually establish relationships that can pay. Dividends later in your career, and the opportunity to give back. Greeks aren't just about partying. I know that's all we hear about, but they usually have a philanthropic, philanthropic rather, cause that champion and organize social events to raise money or awareness for that cause. Greek, Greek life makes volunteering fun, too. 
Events might include partnering with another organization, giving you the chance to socialize with other Greeks in a more informal setting. Philanthropic activities can range from all-night dance-a-thons to eating contests. I want to be on that one. Okay, so now all the reasons to go Greek. Here's some of the reasons to not go Greek. There's plenty of good reasons, but it's just not for everyone. These are some of the drawbacks to consider before rushing in. It's expensive. Be prepared to pay up if you go Greek. You'll be expected to pay membership dues, and many organizations have a housing obligation. And depending on where you go to school, this can be more expensive than living off campus. The costs of going Greek may vary by campus and culture, too. In the South, where Greek life is kind of more important, joining a frat or sorority can have can add tens of thousands of dollars to your college bill, as if we need more debt. In other regions where it's less important, you might end up only paying a, uh, maybe a thousand bucks a semester, which is still quite a bit. There are other incidental expenses to consider, too. You'll have to pay for Greek gear to rep your house, gifts for new recruits, social events, and spotting your sister on your next trip to Starbucks. These costs might not, may not seem like a lot, but eight bucks for a little cup of whatever latte thingy over the course of your college career is going to add up. Greeks are known for partying, too, unless you join a strictly academic organization like Phi Beta Kappa. Greek life has a stigma for its party culture. This is especially true for fraternities. Partying is, you know, part of the college experience. Greek life can take it to extremes. Hazing is also a serious problem. Aside from the wild parties, Greeks are also known for their hazing practices. So after rushing a sorority or fraternity, new recruits go through a multi-week initiation process. Hazing is usually incorporated into that process, where pledges have to complete a series of tasks before being formally initiated. These tasks can be innocent, absolutely. Just like completing a scavenger hunt, for instance. But for some Greek organizations, they can involve dangerous levels of drinking. A hazing ritual actually led to the death of a freshman pledge at Cornell University in 2019. And there's a lot more stories about it, too, resulting in the fraternity getting kicked off campus. While hazing is an open secret on most college campuses, Greeks are tight-lipped about the actual rituals themselves. Once you become a pledge, you might be peer pressured into completing a ritual even if you think it's humiliating or even dangerous. And this can compromise your values and make it hard to kind of show up as your authentic self. And there's a time commitment. So to be a member of a Greek organization in good standing, be prepared to sacrifice a lot of your free time to meetings and events. Once you're initiated, you'll have to participate in weekly chapter meetings, social events, and fundraisers throughout the year. If you're in a rigorous academic program or work a part-time job, that can be difficult to balance. Greek life puts pressure on your limited time already, which could also impact your grades. Plus, to enforce participation, some Greek organizations even charge financial penalties if you miss chapter meetings or skip certain events. As if it wasn't all so expensive already. So, in the end, is Greek life actually worth it? I know, it seems like this is the answer to every question. It depends. Depends on your goals. Greek life might actually be worth it. The social aspect of Greek life is a huge draw. Provides you with a solid network of friends when you're going through one of the biggest transitions in your life. So these friends can turn into valuable relationships that might even help you land your dream job in the future. On campuses where Greek life is the primary social network, not joining could make you feel left out. While grades are important, you don't want to spend your entire undergrad career holed up in the library. Greek life provides us a balance between academics and having a little bit of fun, too. But Greek life isn't for everyone. The cost is a huge barrier to entry. On some campuses, Greek life is a tiered system, too. So if you join a less desirable house, might not build the social capital to make it worth the investment. So the expectation to party and participate in risky behavior is also that major drawback. Compromising your values just to have friends can impact your grades, or worse, lead you down a path towards addiction and substance abuse. So before you join, consider whether or not the costs are worth the benefits. Depending on your career goals or your desire to have a robust social network, Greek life may be worth the costs in the long run. So the bottom line here 
Deciding whether or not to join Greek life is an important and expensive decision you'll have to make just as you're beginning your college career. It's not for everyone. And that's okay. Greek life is part of college, but it's not the whole college experience. Schools offer a variety of clubs and social groups that come with many of the same benefits as Greek life, like building friendships and pursuing leadership opportunities. Joining these groups can be a low-cost alternative to Greek life, and you might find that they align more, align more with your lifestyle and values too. And that is our show for today. I hope it was helpful as you venture into college and maybe decide it between these things, whether it's for you or not. If you want to find out more, dive a little bit deeper, you can always join us at thecollegeinvestor.com. Find us all over social media too. Just search for The College Investor and you'll find us. Thanks again for stopping by today, and we'll talk to you again real soon.